So I'm waiting in the corner and I'm like waiting and I'm like, oh, I, I don't know why I've just, I felt kind of off that day anyway. So I'm, but I, I blame Penzer for losing the match. He completely took me out of the, my moment. This is the word to go, yo. Well, hello, hello. It is a Wednesday, everybody's favorite day of the week, and you are watching Gaw TV with your girls. That's right, so Cal Val, Lisa Marie, and myself, Mickey James. What's up, ladies? How are you? Hi. I'm so Amazing. glad to see you. I'm Looks so glad blast. to see you. <laughs> never, never been better. And never you know better. what? Never better. We'd be never better if you would subscribe to our channel right now before we get kicked off because, um, it's a great month. It is the 1st of November. We got a lot of things in store. It is Native American Heritage Month. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here and celebrating that with us. Bell, hit that bell so you never miss an episode, you know? It's important. You don't want to miss a thing. You don't. Because there's a you lot don't. of things happening, you guys. We yes. love fall. As you can see, I'm cozy and, and ready for fall. And I awesome. see that. Yeah. A bit of fur, darling. Yeah, it's a genuine Muppet, but, you know, don't come yeah. after me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so we have so much to look forward to. And as Mickey said, it's just the start of a new month. So why not celebrate mm -hmm. by bringing back Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. By popular demand, we have Patreon back up and running. You know, you guys love it. And we have our YouTube memberships that are still active, of course. But if you prefer Patreon, we're going to make sure that you don't miss a thing on Patreon. We have three different tiers we've created. We've have Team Gaw, we have Gaw VIP, and we have our top tiers. Now, Team Gaw is going to get the extended versions of this show. So the juicy, juicy version, all the stuff that you don't see on YouTube. And of course, you're going to get it a day early, which is always fun. So you're up to date. Our mid-tier is also fabulous. You get a lot, all of our um, exclusive content. You know, mm -hmm. we do so many things. We travel around. We try to get you guys clips of what we've been up to, things like that. So those are all exclusives on our mid-tier. That's Gaw VIP. Then, for the full enchilada, if you want to be gorgeous, woohoo! hashtag gorgeous. Get a snap of that. The gorgeousest. Join with a gorgeousest. It's our top <laughs> tier. It's the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. Is that right? Cream of the crop. Creme Rice de la creme. Perfect. Creme. That's our top tier. Yeah, Those are our, our oils, our, our favorites, because guess what? They're supporting us on the top tier and they're getting exclusive photo shoots. Hello, we're just coming off of Halloween. Don't think we didn't do our photo shoots and looked oh, adorable. Hello. Yeah. And also the top tier, after three months of being a top tier, you get a live chat, just like you're on Gaw with all three of us. That's three months of top tier. Plus, we're going to give you special gifts and make sure that you're taken care of as a top tier member. And because you're gorgeous and you deserve it. That's why you deserve it. You all deserve it. You guys all deserve it. <laughs> my gosh, you guys, I'm on. happy to be here. And um, we have a great, we get, we have great topics tonight to talk about. I'm so excited about. Um, but we're going to start the show with um, what you drink and what you're wearing. I will do the honors first, if you guys don't mind. Go for I'm it. I'm wearing a shirt. It says Team Chera supports ASBCA. Oh. It was oh. custom made. Um, you remember the fans that used to sit in the front row? Um, they even came to my surprise birthday party out there. And um, thank you so much. Good old memories. Um, yes. And um, it's a little bright out, but um, I'm going to eventually wear my glasses. And I wanted to show off something, you guys. Okay. Show and tell. Look at my pillow. Shut up. What? Stop it. Uh -uh. Where did you get this I, I pillow? Custom I custom made it. And thank you. Big shout out to Kakan Art, C A C A N underscore Art, designed this for me. And um, he designed my new shirt. And I have two more shirts that he designed for me. So, um, yeah, I got, remember we were talking about body pillows? I was Amazing. like, Amazing. It did take me a while. Lisa, yeah. you can cuddle Lisa in real time. Oh. What is a one of a kind, just one? This is the only one. Um, well, I got one. two more, but I, had, I ended up keeping one for myself. So, it's so cool. One. That's Isn't so it? funny. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. We need to get a gall one. We need yes. to get, yeah. yes. We need the these pillows. Design it. Design here. it, Kakan. Yeah. 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 For the challenge. He does amazing artwork, so make sure that you follow and put the oh, link so in great. the yeah. description. Lisa, are you imbibing on anything today? I'm drinking, I'm so sorry to disappoint. I'm drinking coffee oh, because we started filming. Disappointed. Early. We did. A little, good old death wish coffee. You know, um, yeah, I'm getting the shakes now because this is my third cup. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> it's oh, strong. No. 
Yeah. Yeah. But yes. Oh my yummy. God. Uh, oh, I'll go next. Do, cause... Also, too, Mickey, you guys, Mickey Val, if you use the uh, the code GA, G-A-W, you get uh-huh. a discount on Death Wish Coffee. Yay. That's right. Death Wish Coffee. Yeah. We love Delicious. that. Yeah. Yes. It's intense, that coffee. It is. Oh my it God. It's healthy. I was going to yeah. say, I'll go next because Val, I think you need a whole moment because you are the moment right now. Um, I so- thought because, you know, we're coming off the heels of Bound for Glory and I know we're going to get to that in a bit. I was going to do my best hardcore country um, little little look here, a little tie oh. up. You know, oh, I popped the top. Oh, um, I mean, now. Surprise, surprise. 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 Uh, surprise. some beads some don't even look at my nails right now you guys like they just one fell off yesterday and then the other one fell off actually one fell off two days ago the next one fell off yesterday and then as we were sitting here as I went to go sit down somehow this one just cracked in half they are oh, ratchet God. I can't there's still my you bound for glory more. nails what's left i apologize you guys don't come at me in the comments i don't want to hear it okay i don't want to hear it um i'm also wearing a sweet bruise what's left of it right here but i got my sleeves on because i can't go in public another sidebar conversation we'll talk about that in a minute and i'm drinking pepsi mango it is back you guys i don't know i haven't been able to find it i gotta try that because i'm trying to you know I don't want to have all the bad things. I love all the mango flavors. I do. I don't really so like mangoes themselves, but like, yeah, like the vodka. Yes. Well, well you, can, so you can decide for yourself what you think is in this cup, ladies and gentlemen. Any well, guests vodka, in the chat. vodka crystal light or vodka soda. Vodka body soda. That's right. <laughs> in my audacity bling custom cup with my name on it. I use this one all the time because I'm just like, I can't get over how pretty it is. And it's so fun on camera. So beautiful. So sparkly. Everything just tastes better in it. And I am I'm kind of serving like Russian oligarch wife's realness. Okay. Tonight, I don't know. I just I thought the updo because it's too much red on red. Um, these are Never. fantastic Harlow House of Harlow earrings, um, which are fantastic. That's actually Nicole Richie's brand. I love that. And uh, yeah, I will tell you that this lovely faux fur, a lot of the beautiful colored faux furs that I own are from Jaylee. And Jaylee is a company here in the UK. I've seen them at fashion shows and they do the most spectacular like faux furs over the top. You know, I like to be a little extra. You have to be. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Cheers to that. Cheers, ladies. Is it like a big one piece? It just goes over the shoulders and like buttons in the front and then you have three arms? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 It's like a big cape. Uh, so don't think I'm not wearing this in real life. I've been wearing. I've been. I've been thinking about this. Coat I know you are for like because it's it was hot. I hate summer. I'm like I just want to have my red Russian goddess moment with a red lip and a big giant statement earring. That's all I want. And here you life. are, and I'm living it. You are. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Well, speaking of living life, uh, Mickey, you are bruised and blessed, and uh-huh. we've seen the bruises, and you went through it in Chicago. <laughs> At Bound for Glory. We pretty much wanted to yeah. do a whole episode about this pay-per-view because that's how massive and monumental that it was. But I know you had such an amazing weekend, but I mean, where do we even start? BFG. Oh, I know. I DNA, did, by the way. I did. I wish I had gotten the before pictures. I don't know why I didn't get any like real photo shoot pictures in the outfit. I think by the oh, time Oh, that I was beautiful, on, photo, Mickey. Thank Stunning. you. Stunning. Thank you. Inspired oh. by Beyonce. You know, Giuliano, who's done some artwork with us before, and he's done artwork for my gear before. He helped draw it and like switch it over to wrestling gear. And, um, and obviously Rick from Global WrestleWear made it. And you guys know that Gia Miller made my hat. Remember, we talked about it when she was on our show. We talked about it. So she made my hat, and it was like this whole Beyonce moment, um, minus the glasses because we forgot the glasses, but that's okay. We wouldn't know. Nobody knew. I wish I would have yeah. held my poses a little longer. That's for sure. Mm. That is for sure. And, but it was, it was a gorgeous. match. There was a, there was no, a lot of you. adrenaline going, right? You know, uh, it's what I did share. So I got to share the after picture, which had all, you know, a bunch of bruises on my arms and stuff. Um, How did those eyelashes stay on? Those glitter eyelashes. Well, they weren't on at the end of it. I had to just end up pulling them off. And I think I t- just tossed them both away because they were oh. so, they were, you know, like the Halloween lashes where they're super. Yeah. But yeah, the heavy. band is a little bit thick, yeah. And they were, they yeah. were cat like they were to- totally winging it halfway through the match. Yeah, that's hard to keep. Yeah. It's hard to keep lashes on generally, not even just like in a match where you're getting so physical. 
yeah, I yeah. think we all lose lashes a lot. I've thrown a lot yeah. on the floor, I think. Yeah. Or just like, yeah. just let it keep on fluttering, you yeah. know? Just That's for... always funny. There was one point when you got, you were on the, 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 out, the second rope and you're going, you're going, I could see them. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh they're digging in her eyeball. They're digging in her eyeball. Wow. It's funny yeah, you guys oh notice God. that, like, girls notice stuff like that. Like, I always used to feel bad at the NXT shows in person. They would, all the girls would lose their, lose their hair extensions. And I'm like, I know that they're probably really throwing them off their game, you know? And the ref has right. to scoop it up and put it in his pocket. And he has, like, a blonde hair falling out of it. It's so funny. Oh, my but, God. Yeah. 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 No, but I have to say, it was a weekend. It was obviously a weekend. My sister flew in town to take care of D while I was out of town. And because, you know, obviously, my husband is the new GM of SmackDown. You know, so, so he, much fun. Hubby had to go to work. So my sister came in town. Awesome, so I could go to Bound for Glory and it was going to be freaking awesome. And I was going to win the championship. Um, no, but it was great. Uh, Trinity and I did media together for, you know, in the morning who our friend DS helped set that up. And Tony, you know what? Tony was there. You guys know Tony here on God TV. Tony, he helps Tony. here. Tony, Tony. But Tony was Tony. there and he flew in for the whole weekend. He helped uh, get this media together and um, yeah, he was there and he even filmed a bunch of behind the scenes stuff for Ooh. us, for Gaw TV, for all kinds of things. Tony, where are you at? Because I think he also, I think it'd be great because I think he had a different perspective as our friend Tony, but also as a wrestling fan um, to be yeah. there for the whole event and the whole weekend. But it was great. We went by the NBC studios. DS was there and did a big sit down yeah. with Trinity and I at the NBC studios. And then we went by the WGN later um, and had another sit down for the evening and to all promote. And the outfits shows. were on point. Oh my gosh. I remember seeing it. I was Thanks. like, wow, oh, you look so superstar. Oh Thank God. Stunning. 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 Oh God. I mean, it was an absolutely incredible weekend. I mean, I have a, I have a little bit of a background in sports television as the ladies all know. I've worked at uh, ESPN for the last 14 years. I've got Chicago MJ equals goat. You had, you know, it was going to be a goat weekend. And <laughs> I mean, there was, I mean, there was, again, so much great, great moments from that night. Unfortunately, you know, and I'm not going to blame David Penzer for this. And maybe your eyelashes falling I off. I can't. Maybe your sister. There was just so much working against Mickey this weekend. She was. There was, it was like the universe was conspiring against me <laughs> in oh. Chicago. I cannot. So I told you guys that. All right. So first off, I go in on Thursday because we have media Friday morning. My sister was supposed to fly in on Tuesday um, and she missed her flight and I can't be mad because I've missed a flight or two in my life, uh, but mm -hmm. she missed, she couldn't get, you know, to the airport. She also like me is, I mean, it's in the country. So she lives like 45 minutes away from the airport. Right. Anyway. So she gets in on uh, Wednesday and then I have to leave on Thursday for media on Friday and um, Yeah. So then get up and start doing media in the morning. First stop is NBC studios with DS um, and Ross is there too. And Trinity. So it's a sit big sit down with Trinity and I, which was, I thought was really cool. Right. Because you don't see those often with the two, with the champion and then myself Very coming cool. back. And I think the cool thing too, is like that uh, Trinity and I have so much respect and love for one another. And she's and been an awesome champion. Um, and then the story that I never lost that championship so it was a real test on us both so yeah. then we're leaving there and i'm heading on to um wgn and my sister calls me as she's going to take don go to pick donovan up for school and she's rear-ended someone or she backed into someone in the parking lot of the gas station on the way to go pick him up from school like she had ran in to go get she's like i was going to get chocolate milks and chips and and i'm like oh and i was like Anyway, I was like, you didn't see yeah. the backup camera. She goes, she was there and then she wasn't there. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't. No. I can't. And so anyway, to do that, kind of handle that. I'm like, you're going to have to call Nick because it's technic it's Nick's car that you just, it's not my, tr I can't, I'm like, I thank God you weren't driving my truck because you would have ran over this vehicle. Yeah. How, yeah. What were you doing? Yeah. Anyway. That's, yeah. that's a call Nick wants to get at work. Like, hey, can you stop? While he said, yeah, stop GMing for a minute. I have some great news. I just. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I just had to text him. I'm like, I'm walking into an interview right now. Latoya wrecked your car. I'm so sorry. God. 
It's so, so I mean, he it. was okay, right? Everyone was okay. No, oh, yeah. yeah, no, it was a uh, the insurance and all that other stuff. She it was totally um, Latoya's fault. She she's like, I don't know, I just didn't see her. Like she just appeared out of nowhere, and I'm like, mm -hmm. jumped right in front of you. Right in front right of right you. Boom, boom. Yeah. Anyway, so then I'm walking, and Tony goes because he's following, like docking, and he's like, "Is your life always this much drama?" And I'm like, "You have no idea." You have no idea. Yeah, why anyway. is there a reality camera with you all? I'd be I can't. Honestly. Oh, I, I don't know. People want to see the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, again, it was. It's. It's again. Like I said, it's incredible to see how. Again, someone like Mickey is putting all this stuff together again while having a family and while being able to take care of all that. It's. It was just one. Of, I. I know the term "mother" on the internet is something people use. I don't think it's in this context. I actually don't know the context, but. Literally, Mickey is like the mother of her world. She's like literally yeah. handling all this stuff and then running to do an interview. And, you know, I, I was just it was it was incredible to see that she was able to shift from that mode to, you know, again, and go in and do this interview, which, yeah, was, thanks to WGN and Earn. It was where the Bozo show started. The Bozo show started. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. I've been to that studio. Yeah. Yeah. Are and you there's a bunch of pictures the of the other MJ, you know. He's I mean, the, less, the, the guy who's won less world championships than this MJ. I mean, he's Tony, only won six. People are so mean? mad about that post. I, can't. Mad, I think it was mostly positive. because people. I got almost got upset because I thought you were about Michael Jackson. You mean Michael Jordan. Yeah. That was she guy. Zero she guy. Super yeah. over. Yeah. Super yeah. 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 over. I got to tell you guys, I used to work out with Michael Jordan at a gym. I was a personal trainer. And he used to call me... Um, uh, he used to call me guns when I used to go up and downstairs. Um, I knew his trainer, Tim Grover, and um, he used to call me guns. And I tried out for the lovables and I didn't make it. I made it to the third round. I was too muscular. Why are we just hearing this story for the yeah, first time it. ever? Just slide that right in there. Oh, yeah, by, the way. oh by the way. I, yeah, I out with I, Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah, yeah. No Isn't that funny? And he goes, Oh, do you want to make the, the do you want to make the um lovables? And I said, those they, they were the cheerleaders of the bulls. And I was like, No, not I I don't want favors. I'm gonna be that chick that goes, Oh, she got in there because of Michael Jordan. And I was like, No, let me just try out. I think yeah, it's okay but, to be that chick. I think it's yeah, okay to be that chick. You, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they were like all expert ballet dancers. So like triple triple pirouettes were mandatory. This oh. troll this girl cannot turn around. Yeah. So I was so upset. You guys, I went home crying. I didn't get out of bed for like 14 oh. hours. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. That's like the when I tried out for cheerleading and the chick dropped me like three oh. times. No. I went home oh. crying too. You know it was fine. That was high school. It was a long time ago. Former cheerleader, AJ Styles. Wow. Was he a young leader? Uh, I know well, I can jump so high. I'm dead serious. Wow. Oh, man. I've got... It's an athletic endeavor. It's, uh, yeah. isn't it an Olympic Wasn't Lance athlete? Storm a volleyball player? That's why he can jump so high? He wow. was a volleyball player. Oh, yeah. That He's got some massive ups, especially yeah. for a Canadian white guy, right? Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he has, he has short legs, too, and a big bum. So it's kind of shocking he could <laughs> jump so high. It's like, you know, power. He's like a spring. He like locks it down and ping. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Randy Orton always. I always said that to him, about him too. Like he had, he has really crazy drop kicks. Like he's got springs in his boots. I don't know how he gets that that much. Well, it's because he's all legs. Yeah, yeah. maybe he's a tall. People forget how tall Randy is. He's, he's a, a tall man, man wall. Quickly, it's TNA again, you guys. It's not. Yes. A so we no longer have to correct ourselves on this show anymore. Yay. So yeah. I was told by my best friend Aaron was there and everyone that was backstage said that and Tracy as well. We have to talk about her, too. She was just saying like the, they were saying that the reaction and the response to it being changed back to TNA was huge. just huge. Huge pop. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah. about that. I think it's yeah. going to be awesome. I love it. I think it's a great idea. Um, and I know I've heard a lot of back and forth about it, but I'm like, I love it. I think people still think about. Even when they say impact, they want to say TNA first. It's so hard yeah. to get people to change. But also the library of the Sting and Booker T and Kurt Angle and Lisa and myself before, like all of that is underneath the TNA brand, right? Yeah. So you're showing old TNA footage. So I think it just kind of helps pull it all back together. And hey, impact, I'm grateful to be at impact. I was grateful to be at TNA. I'll be grateful to be at TNA again. You know, it is. Um, but I always love the TNA version. What I feel coming, honestly, is like a big reset, I think, is going to happen in 2024 with TNA, yeah. Yeah. with Impact, yeah. with the rebranding and the switch. I just think that there's just going to be a real big shift 
I'm excited yeah. about it. It seems exciting. Uh, you know? yeah. I'll tell you like the bound for glory. Like it was nonstop action from the first Ooh. match all the way to the end. I don't know how the fans like how exhausted from popping so much, but th- every match was it would it delivered. There was no disappointment yeah. from start to finish. Honestly, it was. Uh, and I felt even by the time we got to our like it was an incredible show top to bottom. And there was some insane and incredible matches. I honestly felt like where we were on the card, um, they were t- I felt like they were tired. I felt like they were tired. You know, it's a lot. It's, it was, it's yeah. a whole lot, the stack. But God darn, man, what a show. Like, it was so, so good. And even the beginning, um, kick things off with the Hall of Fame. Like, we've been talking nonstop about how proud we are of Tracy and that amazing speech. The, even that opening package and the things that Scott Demore said that I got all teary-eyed at. And, and Gail, the beautiful things she said. And Jordan. Yeah. It was so, and then I love how the guys were, were piping in too, you know, Shelly and Saban and EY, people that have been there for her whole career. And then Mike Tanay and Don West, you guys. I mean, that was just a ma- magical and i just loved that you know mike today you know they talk about jr as the soundtrack to a lot of people's lives and that's still true because i watched wwf before i watched impact obviously yeah but the soundtrack to my you know whole wrestling journey is west and today you know so that was just such a cool moment and of course it we was love and miss dawn so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. No, oh no i love him yeah i know, I know. I just, he always gave me the best advice and one of the last times that I, saw I still him. have said, all my je- oh god look how jacked oh, my Don West sticker yeah he's just such a good man and oh. so talented and I mean I think yeah. before he told me once that uh he's something happened and he goes I'm not gonna let it re- let it rent any space in my head and I went that's brilliant and I always carry yeah. that place with me yeah he's just yeah for him to be appreciated and respected and the, for the fans to just be so receptive to that was really really sweet oh. to- there were tears in the beginning yeah for that and Tracy yeah you know, we're all, we all miss Don and like to be able to be there for that. And it was so good to see Tanae yeah. and his wife was there. Uh, we had a great time. And then, um, man, it's, it's one of the, because it is their biggest show of the year. It's impacts biggest show of the year. Everybody kind of comes out for it. And yeah. so you, it was really, uh, a great weekend all in all. And then like to see our girl Tracy to be like honored, and yeah. put in the Hall of Fame. And someone who we all know Tracy is not like she felt. I feel like someone who probably thinks that she doesn't deserve it at all. Yeah. When she does. And to see her be honored in such a way. And how Jess ODB. Yeah, Jess ODB. Surprised yeah, her. Six hours. Uh, she drove six Aaron hours. came <laughs> out and surprised her. And it was just, you know. And that was, dress. The uh, look. I said, Tracy. She looked- I You've can't. never looked. I mean, she looked phenomenal, and just yeah. so. And then, and then Rebel being there, and and Frankie, yeah. and, and Gail's you know, speech, and Gail's damn dress. Oh, I was like, I I know, I can't, I can't. Did you hear Frankie? I, I said it to Tracy when he said on her video. He said she's the best part of me. I was like, I can't. This is too much. Oh, I know. There are so many great stars in Impact that. Some of them, you know, we hadn't even. I've not even met all of them yet before, but now I'm getting to see some where I'm just so impressed. And yeah. I mean, like you said top to bottom, an amazing pay-per-view. It is still available. Um, Fight TV is where I watch it and it's available on replay. But any more favorite moments? I'm going to ask you, Tony, because this was, you know, your chance to kind of obviously be there for Mickey, but to get to watch as a fan, were there any more key moments oh, that man. you loved? And I mean, I hope I, I, I we do definitely have to get into more of uh, Mickey's day of the show and the match. And again, I want to hear, I mean, I was there and got to speak to her post-match and hear her thoughts, but I'd love with uh, a week of reflection to hear kind of what, she thought about but again top to bottom this card was it was loaded it was a bound for glory pay-per-view i mean you had i mean right off the bat you had diana and tasha in a tag team match i mean two people and mickey's very uh well well oh, yeah. uh, with, with two of her very close personal longtime friends diana and tasha um against killer kelly and masha and i mean that was just again right off the bat the knockouts always always yeah. the highlight of, a, of an impact a tna impact show uh, Will Osprey uh, speedball Mike Bailey, which is going to be probably a contender for matches of the entire, one of the best matches of the entire year. I mean, yeah. again, when you get, you know, a Will Osprey in your, in your building, and I, I think a lot of people are going to start seeing uh, the amount of talent Mike Bailey has. I mean, he's been yeah. again, having bangers for uh, his entire time in TNA Impact. And I mean, you know what? I, I, I feel bad because I feel like I cost Mike Bailey the match by helping Will Osprey fluff his hair before and, um, That's yeah. right. He did, look especially, he did look especially dapper, though. His hair yeah, you know, he, he Tony good, has he told good. every. Okay. Tony, tell the story. Is it, it's not, it's not that about great a story. how he <laughs> fluffed Will Ospreay. 
Oh. <laughs> Lucky dog. Alan, Alan, Armbar Allen's going to love how you phrase that. Um, yeah. And probably be jealous. But yeah. no, I mean, again, you, you, what's the, the old connotation from Deion Sanders from primetime? You look good. You feel good. You play good. You play well. I don't know. But so, you know, Will's getting ready for his match, and he wanted to make sure he had pay-per-view hair. And uh, I was there. I came to his assistance. I, I held up a mirror for him, and he needed. A, he wanted a little bit of fluff in his hair. So. Uh, he had me fluff his hair, and then he you went have out and gel? won his match. Was it gel? Did you? It was very soft. Put... No, no gel. Oh. No, didn't feel like there was product in it. No, I was okay. Say. So and no product on your hand. You weren't like no. I had. I was not like yeah. I wasn't even a little Stowski. No goose. <laughs> <Stowski. laughs> you know, oh, so I'm sure that was a great easy. visual for anyone that was watching. It's just me going like, there you go. There you go. Yeah, no one else perfect. asked me to fluff their hair. I'm the, maybe yeah. that's why. Maybe, maybe that was another thing. I didn't get to fluff your hair. That might have cost you. I the did not fluff my hair. No. Well, because I had a hat on underneath, yeah. and then I had to fluff it when I took the hat off. Osprey is so oh, funny. He is yeah. so funny. Oh He's my god! He's jacked now. I saw him before. He was. We were randomly in the same hotel before AEW. I was like, oh, good to see you. And I kind of touched his arm, and I was like, oh, damn. Like, <laughs> oh, you oh, have muscles. Always that jacked. I was like, oh, pardon me. I think oh. I broke a nail. Do you know Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim, 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 you go on the gym, Jim. Yeah, also like Alex and Alex, um, Shelly and Saban. Do those guys ever like freaking slow down? It's what the hell, man. Look amazing too. Yeah, it was top to bottom. I'm telling you, I popped so hard watching the whole pay per view, and um, I thought I was just gonna watch the highlights. I ended up watching the whole thing. I got suckered in, suckered in. Despite a tremendous performance, again I'm blaming Penzer. Threw you off. Threw you off your yeah. game. Always did. Pen. You guys hear King Penzer <laughs> announce me? I heard, the- and then I Virginia. heard you. <laughs> what, what did he say? What did he say? Lisa. So I'm waiting in the corner, and I'm like waiting, and I'm like, uh, I, I don't know why. I've just I felt kind of off that day anyway. So I'm, but I. I blame Penzer for losing the match. He completely took me out of the, my moment, out of the game. When he sat there and announced me from Roanoke, Virginia. And I was like, what? And I <laughs> walked quickly I... across the ring and almost shoulder check him to the point where Bravo is going like, I thought you were from Detroit for a second because that's how we do. And yeah. Ingrid was loving it. Because and ben, he felt so bad. I know it's it's mistake. I go Richmond. Yeah, you you, you he got his... corrected. He got got. I was this close to snatching his microphone. I even looked up at it and I was like, to int- I was gonna redo my whole introduction myself. And I was like, let me not turn, let me not turn heel right now. God, as, pay-per-view as a ring announcer, everybody. I would have just wanted the world to swallow me up because I've had moments. Yeah. Stuff like I'm that. walking away. I'm going like, oh. Yeah. Fuck. And I'm thinking about all the kids. I'm so sorry. We're cursed. I hope we're going to have to bleep this out. But I <laughs> legit in that moment, I, w- I wish I'm like, I'm kind of glad, but I'm not glad because I wish somebody had gift this whole moment because me walking around that w- ring away from him, like unbelievable <laughs> Penzer, 20 years, 20 years, same town. Yeah. yeah. You've announced me how many times? Fucking yeah. Roanoke. It's I immediately. Crazy text Carlito and was like, how much did you pay him? <laughs> how much? <laughs> no. Yeah. What did he say? Because he always says I'm from Roanoke as well. Yeah, okay. My Un- favorite spot the whole match was when um, she did the booty little thing in your face and you're like, don't groceries. threaten me to a good time. I love groceries. <laughs> love Give me them groceries. <laughs> All them cakes. <laughs> Coming to she Patreon. is so talented. I'll tell you what, I always heard uh, from all the guys that when she was doing kind of the more of the dancing and stuff in, in WWE, they're like, you don't understand. Like we've seen her train. Like she's so naturally gifted as an gifted. athlete. That's what yeah. everyone says about her. And it's like, it's just an, a natural intrinsic talent and just how much athleticism she really has. Cause that's something you can't uh, teach, you know? <laughs> Hello. I, well, it's also though, I think that that because of her natural, I, maybe the dance has something to do with it because yeah. A lot of times when an athlete will transition into wrestling, everything is very jerky and boxy and very like, but she's so fluid. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so fluid and just like, ah, yeah. I know. I I didn't know how to prepare for her, honestly, because, you know, most times when you go in a match, there's some animosity, there's some 
uh, you know, and I've never been in the ring with Trinity, not like that, like a, you know, in a yeah. six, six girl, eight girl tag, but not on a, like a one-on-one and, um, dude, she's so amazing because she is, can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I thought I was, you were flexible, Mickey. I thought you're because you're super flexible too. And then like her doing the splits and every, I was just like, I don't, what the hell, man. And then I love the reverses and the pins. Good. Thank you. So, yeah, I do. Those were great. Thank Sorry, you. the little things I like, it's not the big, big giant moves. I'm like, oh, great reversal. Oh, yeah. yeah it was so good. It was so good. So it was, proud. It was a really great match. I, I was, you know, you're always disappointed in yourself in like, you know, whatever. Um, but it was a great match and I obviously not the outcome that I wanted, but maybe, you know, we said may the best woman win and she was the better woman that night. I know Tony, it's heartbreaking. And it's all Pinter's fault because he announced me from Rona. That's what it is. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. I will yeah. say off my game. And it's like almost like I feel very laces out moment, actually. <laughs> Ray Finkel, yeah, Ray Finkel. Finkel. The moment after the match where she hugs you, and again, kind of like a little homage you gave to her as you left the stage. I mean, what was going through your mind in that moment? That was again that that hit me in the feels. Uh, Classic. Well, I just yeah, I think that it's one of those things of like it was really a test, and I knew that I didn't lose that championship. Um. And then I had to release it, but I also knew that Trinity was an incredible champion. And I knew in my heart that she wasn't going to be able to like, say I'm the true knockouts world champion without beating me because she didn't beat me for the title ever, you know, and it was still kind of one of those things. So, um, but the fact is, is that I love her and I respect her and she kicked my ass and she won that night. And for me too, I have to think like, okay, well, why did I, why was my head not all the way in the game? Was it Penzer? Was it all of these other factors of my weekend of my sister wrecking my Nick's car or whatever else, all these things, but it's also that reminder. of I don't know. I, you know, I think that right now Nick is having an amazing opportunity at WWE and it's a moment that he's prayed about for a long time. And Mm -hmm. if I'm not fighting for the championship or a championship, I have so, you know, I, I want to be an awesome mom. I want to be able to do all the things. And I think for the first time, I want to be able to support my husband while he goes after the dream for a while. So, you know, I figured yeah. till next time, you know, it was ironic too, because it's like, oh, um, they debuted impact debuted my new t-shirt, which I was going to wear, but I realized that I gave it to Tasha Steeles. We can so share she that. She could picture. have it because she needed it as a you know, memento of our time together. And because her name is also on the t-shirt, but it's a, like a list of all the championships what? of when oh. I won it and then who I lost it. It's like the last rodeo tour t-shirt. So you can go get that now on TNA shop.com. I think it uh, is. Can but... you? I haven't seen it up there yet. Um, oh, no. So this might be, this might be a really rare, if anyone who bought it at the show here, um, this might be a very rare. Get collectible. One. Get I'm going to have to message. Yeah. Boss. I have so much old TNA merch, especially I'm going home uh, to America in a couple of weeks. Right. And I like, I still have so much old TNA stuff, eight by tens, like uh, lanyards and just random stuff that I bet would probably fetch a really good price. I mean, I don't want to get rid of them, but it's just one of those things. Right. That there's so much yeah. merch to accumulate over the years. Right. I know. Totally. Totally. I have so much it's stuff. Much. It's so totally. much stuff. That's why I just signed up for this. Also guys coming soon. Notable live. I've signed up for this notable live platform where they do online auctions and it integrates with eBay. So it's like almost on notable live and eBay where, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And also to you guys, you know, since this is airing um, right after God TV, I'm doing my live auction November Ooh, 8th. Go ahead, sis. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for reminding me. I do want to say thank you, Tony, because you did, you, you know, you helped a lot going in there to get all that stuff for gall, but also to help set up that media with NBC and with WGN and your friends and, I know you went to a football game after. I was I just go. sad. I know. We were sad you weren't there. Ern was Ern had you a nice seat there too. And the Bears won. It was warmed I mean, up. It was warmed yeah, up. It was all warmed up. Yeah. But phenomenal weekend. One I will, you know, I'll, I'll always treasure. Again, another great pay per view. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Go watch Mickey and Trinity's match. Again, one yes. of the one of the best women's matches of the year, maybe best matches overall. I'm sure Mickey doesn't agree with me because she's 
very self-critical. <laughs> That's why <laughs> we have was, to raise was, a glass and say you have to raise a glass. So Cheers to Trinity. Cheers to Mickey. Show. Cheers oh to yeah. Trinity. Cheers. We're proud of you, sis. You guys, and to Trinity. You. We'll have to have her on. She's fabulous. Oh, my God. We should totally have her on. She is yes. fabulous. Yeah. 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 Totally. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being yeah. here. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you next week for more Grown Ass Women TV. And again, don't forget, Patreon, YouTube memberships. Get the behind-the-scenes story and come support us. Thank you, guys. We love you. Mwah. Cheers. This is the word to go, yo, yo.